back to all mother popcorn my name is stephanie that's a little sister desiree we are back with another after the theater review for you guys today we came to see the hitman's wife's bodyguard this is the sequel of course to the hitman's bodyguard that came out a few years ago we do have the cast coming back which includes um ryan reynolds samuel l jackson and salma hayek salma hayek in the original did just have a small little cameo she wasn't in there too too much but of course she is more of the center part in a way well i guess not really the center it was more of a trio i was really kind of expecting it to be like the first one where we got just salma and um ryan and then we only got um samuel l jackson in the sidelines once again since we are in the car it is hot we're in those summer texas heat um you're probably gonna hear the air and i'm not gonna turn it down because my air is not working that great so we're gonna do with that noise so desiree what did you think about the movie i liked it, it has these unexpected moments uh all these of course is <laughs> find your words okay so while she's trying to think about what to say i will say that i really enjoyed it as well this is not like a great movie by any means necessary this is just one of those movies to have fun with it's a great summer movie i feel like came out during father day weekend my da our dad that's weird to say our dad my dad <laughs> <laughs> um my dad he would totally like this movie there is a lot a lot of you know shooting and violence and curse words in english and in spanish we also do get antonio banderas in this particular part um he does have just like a small cameo kind of think about it we're not really a cameo he's the villain in this part and i feel like he had the same on-screen time kind of like salma no he did have a little bit more than salma yeah did uh towards the once we get well once we do give you our score we'll let you know which part we did like the best have you found your word sister because the heart the heart the <laughs> car is starting to heat. heat i don't i don't really know i enjoyed it <laughs> i would see it again it's it was just funny <laughs> the all these surprising stuff that happens yeah there's one particular cameo very surprising i'm not gonna say who but i honestly thought it was gonna be somebody different because of things that he was saying about being the best bodyguard and i was honestly thinking it's gonna be somebody else that's in a bodyguard movie just know that that's who it is it's somebody even like greater um we'll leave it at that cgi was like totally noticeable with some of the like bridge explosions i'm just like oh that's terrible <laughs> stuff so don't go in there expecting like oh my god you know it's no just enjoy enjoy laughing. yeah enjoy what what you see turn your you, you don't even have to like really truly fully turn your brain off for this movie like you will just enjoy what's there I mean, you get Samuel Jackson being Samuel L. Jackson. You get Ryan Reynolds being a more terrified, I guess. Ryan Reynolds. I mean, he's Ryan Reynolds plays the same fucking character in every movie. That sarcastic asshole. I mean, he's I like it. yeah, I like him too. That's just kind of who he is now. It's like another version of Deadpool, but not as like. I mean, he's still badass, but you know, he's trying to go into like a sabbatical Zang kind of, you know, spiritual awakening deal. And then Salma, I freaking love her. I mean, she's so freaking funny. Um, what are you gonna rate it? I will rate it a medium popcorn. I will give it a medium popcorn too. And I personally do prefer Hitman's wife bodyguard. Uh, part one was enjoyable, but not that much, to be honest with you. I remember. The first time that I watched it, I went, uh, and then I watched it a second time to do a review, which I did collab with somebody, um, Anthony A. Perez. So I'll go ahead and link that little, um, video that if you want to know what my thoughts are on the first part, I'll put the little card up here to, um, it's on his channel so you can hear our thoughts on that one. Oh, wait, I don't think you can see my finger. The little <laughs> card. Y'all want to see the damn card pop up. Uh, so which part do you prefer? I actually prefer this one over the part one because of how... I don't know it's like more interactive like with everybody 
more kidnappings. I think it's just funny because Ryan Reynolds is trying a whole different leave but still being dragged into his his job. <laughs> oh, it does have an end credit scene as well. I don't know if it has more than one, but it does have one pretty early on so you can stay. Um, it's funny. There's nothing like to lean up to like a third part or anything like that, but it's just funny. But there is something that happened the very ending and I was just like I'll be laughing if this happens and it did so I mean was it predictable I don't know I was just kind of being funny but I kind of was thinking that's the direction it was gonna go did yeah. you think of that too or till after I told you no I thought about it too yeah, yeah so it could be like a predictable kind of situation of what's going on within the movie within uh Salma well um, Sonia's <laughs> Sonia Kincaid's journey within this movie as well which if you've seen the preview you know what her journey is personally um, so that's not really a spoiler I guess I can kind of that, that doesn't tell you anything all right if you've seen the hitman's wife's bodyguard let me know down below what did you think about it did you like it did you love it did you hate it was it just not for you do you prefer the first part do you prefer the second part let us know down below um, of course don't forget to give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new right, until next time I'll see you guys at concessions bye